know how to spell it. And he said in his broken, broken English, he said, you know, you don't worry about how, how, how to get to the moon. He says, V will take care of that. He said, you think about what you're going to do when you get there. And then he went on to say, you know, you will, you will probably someday be driving a car on the moon. Yes, sir, Dr. Von Braun. Yes, sir. You know, yes, sir. And I was in, I was in fantasy land. I was in, I was in a science fiction world listening to this man. Anything he said was all right with me. The Valley of Tars Littrell, which uh, literally is deeper than the Grand Canyon of the Colorado out in Arizona and, uh, and the desert southwest, uh, was selected for a variety of reasons. Probably the most important reason was it gave a, a, a huge three-dimensional view of the uh, upper crust of the moon. Our nickname for Ron was Captain America. Well, the astronauts were all patriotic, and, John, and, and Ron Evans was right at the top of that list. Houston, this is America. You can breathe easier. America has arrived on station for the challenge ahead. When I got to the surface of the moon, I think one of the first things I said... As I step off at the surface at Taurus Littrell, we'd like to dedicate the first steps of Apollo 17 to all those who made it possible. We were the tip of the arrow. The problem with the F-1 engine was that no one had ever built an engine of that size and that magnitude. And this was like an order of magnitude larger than anything we had been dealing with, which was the H-1 engine used in the Saturn 1Bs. It was a program that everybody was in some way affected, even if it's no more than the testing of the vehicle and what effect it would have on the houses nearby. Well, the Haas played the role of retrieving the launch vehicle data, S1C, you know, S4B, launch, second burn, and providing that data to the engineers. Well, we pretty much convinced everybody for the next one's going to be 503 or Apollo 8, okay? Can we man it? And then even on top of that, go around the moon. The Saturn V, in terms of unexpected problems, literally had a little or none. Performed fall, flawlessly, right to the bitter end. And on Apollo, on Apollo 17, here again, how much confidence can you have in a vehicle like that? Now we're ready to launch at night? About 30 seconds with this flexing of the muscles of the Saturn V. The best analogy I can give you is it's like driving a, a car over a truck over a railroad ties. It's just a very heavy vibration that gradually is superseded uh, very, very slowly by an increase in G-level. And at 2 minutes and 45 seconds, we're at about...